Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Here to do a reading for a specific segment of the collective. Um, if those of you guys watched my video from yesterday, holy cow, that one was amazing. And I have to tell you, as amazing as that reading was in terms of the energies, there was like a big shift and a very clear message coming through for a certain part of the collective energy for masculine and feminine, divine masculine and feminine. Um, it only got better in the extended, guys. And those of you that have seen the extended, you got unlimited. Many of you have emailed me. It was unreal. Okay, so that was one of those readings that was like crystal clear and very specific and very exciting, to be honest. But um, I was called to come on and do this video today for those of you who are at a different phase of your journey, because um, whenever I do a reading for the collective, I never know what scenario is coming through. Sometimes they'll bring me different segments of the collective because everyone's at different phases of their journey. Um, but lately they've been really honing in on those that are basically coming into the brink of union. So those of you that are not in this place necessarily, or you're feeling like, okay, that's not quite me, or it doesn't, didn't resonate for you. I am asking spirit today to bring forth a message for a different segment of the collective. Okay. Now this is for, um, the collective consciousness, um, masculine and feminine. This is for those of you on an awakening journey. Those of you that are in uh, soulmate partnerships, you have someone significant that you're liking to, you're wanting to be in relationship with, or you have been in relationship with, but things are a little rocky potentially. Um, this is not, this, these readings are not appropriate for those that are just dating casually, right? This is for a very specific, significant partnership in your life. And um, this may be a soulmate, this may be a twin flame, but again, these aren't specific just to twin flames because they're, um, not everyone is one, but these messages are appropriate regardless. So um, let's see what Spirit's going to bring through today in terms of the, the storyline that they want to talk about today. And um, I'm just asking that it's, it's a different one from yesterday. So that those of you guys where yesterday was feeling like I'm not quite there, or that's not really me. Let's see um, what comes through here. And I am going to be doing an extended. So if this does feel like it's your scenario, I'm going to be going a lot more in depth in an extended reading. So, but let's see what they want us to tune into here today. And the extended reading link will be down below in the description box. Okay. And I'm not going to read reversals unless spirit guides me to. I'm just gonna pull the cards here. So we got the Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands, followed by the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and followed by the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we're getting the world card. So something is um, something is completing here. A chapter is closing. Um, we've reached the end of one phase of our journey here. This also can be a card of enlightenment, of joy, of having everything here. It's like you've kind of made it through this journey with a lot of spiritual growth, spiritual knowledge. You're kind of at this point of, um, kind of at this point of, like being ready for the next level is what they're saying. Okay. So also I'm going to say divine masculine and divine feminine, um, as an energy. Okay. That's the embodiment of sacred masculine, sacred feminine energy. It doesn't mean gender specific. Also in this scenario, if the, if the, if it's like a vice versa thing where it's like, if I, if I'm saying feminine, but you're actually a, a divine, a feminine energy, and it actually feels like the masculine applies to you, that's totally fine too. That's another way spirit will bring the messages in the way that makes sense to more people, okay? So take what resonates for you and um, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't, okay guys? It just means that it's not a specific message for you. So recent past here, we have the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So um, to me, this feels like there has been a lot of guardedness um, 
people not really saying what they what they're thinking what they're feeling um, they may be acting very aloof with each other because I keep getting drawn to the Queen and the King of Swords where they're both like okay I'm good and uh, I'm confident and I'm like unemotional here but it's like we're they were both being very guarded it's almost like you're pretending everything's cool you don't need the other person or you're not letting them know that that uh, you care or you want something different than there is it just feels like there's definitely this energy coming through of um, you know being in a being in a in a mature place in terms of you're not trying to play games or anything it's just that where you're at right now um, and it's also, it can be coming through, because the Four of Pentacles, this can be a card about like black or white, all or nothing, where there's really no gray area. So it's almost like I'm getting just this standoff type of an energy coming through, where it's like, I've got me, I've got me, what's happening? Like, a little bit of a standoff, potentially um, a little bit egoic, mental energy, but... Um, Yeah, that's that's what I'm feeling here, and um, and just for fun, no, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. They're telling me to leave it. Okay. So this has been sort of the recent past. The current energy is coming through is the Three of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. So. Um, I'm getting this energy of this truth coming forward where there may have been some truth communicated here with this um, Knight of Swords. Somebody has um, taken action forward in truth. Um, the Queen of Pentacles here is someone who deals with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. She's got everything good. You know, we've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here. So this is somebody who's confident, um, who is good is clear in what they have they're good in their physical world their career is good their money's good they're stable but they're also just very kind and nurturing so um there is some sort of new it feels like the news that came in um again being a general there's a couple scenarios but it could be that this this there could have been some communication potentially about um around a potential third party situation, whether this is, um, you know, news about a change in uh, a dynamic. It could also just be that whatever news came in was very, um, was very celebratory. Like there's been some good news here. So um, because it's kind of either or here, I want to get some clarifying um, cards here. Tell me here about what this Three of Cups is about. Ace of Swords. So again, some truth coming out, right? Some clarity, some truth. Um, let's get another. I'm going to get a card, a clarifier for each. So for the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that just fell down. We're getting the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and then tell me about this Knight of Swords. So, yeah, this feels very, okay, they've just clarified it. This is the scenario of somebody who had um, potentially been, here's the, the feminine and the masculine, and then they're not, they're being guarded, or they're not talking about what's going on, they're not showing their feelings, they're not being very, like, connected. There's that bit of a standoff, and it feels like what's happening here is um, there has been some clarity around a third party situation, okay? Um, and it is also a cause for celebration because we do have the Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. This is the energy of someone who's got everything abundant. They're great. They're on their own. They're single. This can sometimes be the card of the single, the single female, the single, um, the single mom kind of energy. Uh, where she's kind of good on her own, she's kind, she's nurturing. So this is, whoever this is, is very, very, very 
they've got their, their act together. Things are good in their life. They're, they're content. They're abundant. Um, you know, they may still want partnership, but they're just, they're still, they're good where they're at, right? Because, and here's what's been communicated. Somebody's, somebody's walking away from something. Okay. Um, wanting to walk away from something and taking action and communicating from, from their truth. So we're getting a lot of the swords energies here, which is truth. You know, um, I now know my truth. I'm taking action from my truth. I'm going to start living from my truth. And here it is, somebody walking away from something, okay? So what's coming in here is we have the Five of Cups energy uh, with the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So what this feels like is this feels like the scenario where someone has potentially left a significant partnership or maybe both of you have. Maybe both of you who have, you know, known each other, been around each other, but have been in significant partnerships, but you have some sort of a connection. Um, one or both of you are walking away. And what that's bringing in is this energy of, um, this energy here feels like it's the sadness around the past. Potentially, if somebody had, um, you had, maybe you had been dating and then one person left to go and be in another relationship and then, or they left and like, you guys broke up and then one of you went to another relationship, but then that didn't work out because it wasn't the right one for you. Um, this person could be feeling a lot of regret around that, um, sorrow, shame, guilt, feeling around that they may have left you behind there. They didn't, or they didn't communicate at the time that they had the opportunity to say something to you. Because again, someone was very guarded. They may have felt very clearly about you, but maybe they were playing it too cool, too cool for school. And then it ended up to where one of you moved on to something else. And then it caused this because this person's also feeling very defensive. Um, having to stand their ground, feeling like think, like maybe you're going to come at them. Um, and, and, you know, not yell at them, but like they feel like they may have to defend themselves against you, right? Because there is this wanting to offer um, a cup of love here and, and, and move a relationship forward. But um, the overriding energy here is one of sadness, guilt, regret, and feeling defensive. Um, but the, the desire is here. And what's interesting is there's this energy of guardedness. Um, and it feels like it's the masculine, this guardedness. And now he's probably walking away right now from something, knowing that he wants to, to eventually bring this forward, but he's, he's really uncertain. Okay. Let me see what this, um, and I'm just going to get clarifiers for these guys just for fun to add to the story. Yeah, the regrets are about leaving. We're getting the Three of Cups again in the same row. So this feels like the feminine was kind of waiting, ready for the masculine. She was confident, and then he went off and started dating somebody else or started another third, like started, like moved on to someone else. And that's what the regret is about. So very consistent message there. And tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. What is this defensiveness standing at their ground about? And the king of pentacles. Yeah, it's the it's the masculine. Or at least it, in, in the scenario, it feels like it's the masculine. Again, vice versa if it applies. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was the masculine here who's guarded, more guarded. Even though the feminine may have been guarded too, it feels like she was also where she kind of, maybe she wasn't. It's like, I'm hearing the message like she thought it was obvious that she was interested, but maybe he didn't see it because he wasn't connected to his emotional body. Guys, because this is a lot of what happens with the masculine too, is they're, just, they're, they're very logical, very, um, they're not as connected to their emotional bodies. They are, that is shifting now in the collective energy. The masculines are moving to where they're more balanced in their energies, connected to their feminine energy because we all have masculine and feminine energy. Um, but before it felt like he was just very like kind of logical, very not unemotional before. Um, 
And let's see here for the Knight of Cups. Yeah, he wants, well, I mean, guys, seriously, <laughs> it's like clarity here. He wants to offer his cup to his feminine, to his divine feminine, the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the empress, okay? See the progression here? He's now seeing her as the divine feminine. Before, she was just a confident woman. She was, in, she was someone in his life. Um, she was very magnetic to him, but it was like she was just more what I call, and I say human, meaning she's just like somebody else in his life. But now the progression is he is now recognizing her as the divine feminine embodied in physical form. Okay. The empress, she's, she's nurturing, she's fertile, she's sensual. She's like, she's the, she is the sacred feminine. And this is who he wants to offer his cup of love to her. He was guarded before he has now made his decision, taken action, or is d about to take action. Okay, guys? So, again, timelines for how this works. Sometimes things manifest, well, also not sometimes things, things always manifest energetically first, and then they may take a little while to trickle down into the physical plane. So, there is sometimes that delay in the, phys in the actual manifestation, but the energetic, these are, this is about the energies, remember? So if it hasn't happened yet, it's in the process of happening, or it's at least happening in the higher dimensions, in the spiritual planes, and it's now a matter of now landing it in the physical, okay? So I just want to make that clear again for those of you that are new, that are new to this journey, may not understand that. Um, just know that there is a, sometimes a delay here when it comes to the energies and then seeing the actual physical evidence and manifestation. Okay, but this guys is crystal clear. So this is not for um, I was gonna say this is not for the group that I did the reading for yesterday, although I'm sure they will be able to relate to this stage of their journey. This stage of their journey. So again, this is kind of what's coming in here. All right, I'm gonna pull. I'm going to pull a guidance card for each of them before I move on to the extended. Because if this is you guys, what I'm going to do in the extended is we're going to go a lot more in depth, okay? We're going to take a look at where each of them are at relating to these energies. Um, what they're both consciously thinking and feeling about the other. We're going to look at what they um, are not telling you, what they're secretly wanting you to know. So kind of those juicy things that like they either want you to know but they're afraid to say or they secretly wish you would understand about them but they're maybe afraid to articulate it this is more from their higher self it's like it's almost like their higher self wanting to go like this is what they really are going through what they really want you to know but they they don't know that they want to tell you that yet kind of a thing and then guidance how to navigate these energies what they're both working on surrendering what they're all healing right now and the guidance for how to navigate this situation so uh, before I do go to the extended, I want to give um, a guidance message. Which deck am I going to use here? What are they calling me? All right, they're bringing me to Michael, Archangel Michael, my favorite. Well, I don't want to say he's my favorite, but he kind of is. But then I have other favorites too. It's not just one favorite. I have many. I do a lot of work with Archangel Michael. Um, he's amazing. Let's see what Michael's guidance is here for the masculines. Because if you don't go on and watch the extended, I want you to get at least a piece of guidance here. What's his advice for the masculines? A favorable outcome. Wow. It says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So what this is referring to is this is a favorable outcome for the masculine, but everybody involved. So if he's just recently left a situation, a previous relationship, he's saying everyone's going to be okay. It might be a little rocky going through this, but it is a favorable outcome. It is the best for all involved. So um, that's a beautiful, reassuring message for the masculines that are going through this right now. Let's see what his guidance is for the feminines here. 
Oh my gosh, the romance angels are helping you. Okay, this is my card I get when they're talking about a relationship that's meant to come together, okay? This is about, um, I'll just read it to you. It says, Dear Guardian Angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love and for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. Okay, so this is reassurance for the feminine as well as the masculines watching. I mean, guys, Michael is saying a favorable outcome and romance angels are helping you. I love this image so much and it's really funny because during um, a healing session I did with Michael there were all these little um, fairies like that came around Michael and they started like like swirling around him and he ended up like to where he couldn't even couldn't even stay like he's laughing so much here in this card it's really really cool um, and it's like he's just getting taken over um, where the romance angels are also helping Archangel Michael with making this happen for you guys. So, alrighty. Well, I'm excited to keep going on here with the extended reading. So, um, I'm going to go do that over on my website. The link to access it is down below. But if we part ways here, guys, this is um, a very clear message and also some really clear reassurance for you from Michael here. Um, about this being supported, being divinely guided, divinely supported, um, that there is, there's a team here supporting you guys both and everyone involved with the situation, okay? So with that, um, until next time, I want to send you a lot of love. And also, if you, I have added to my website the ability to look at all of the extended videos that I've done, um, special topics, things like that. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen that, I will put that link also down in the description box below. Browse through some of those topics to see if any of them jump out at you. And then you always can come back here to YouTube and search the same title and then watch the beginning part of it for free. So um, I wanted to mention that to you guys as well. So until next time, I send you much love and I'll see you guys on the other side in the extended. Bye.